guys, how you doing? Welcome to the Saturday workout of the week. Now we're starting today's workout with the tricep dip, which is working the chest, especially the lower part of the pec, and the triceps. Quick tips, folks. Notice as I lower, I'm actually driving my elbows back behind me as if I'm doing a row. My wrists and elbows are stacked and I'm maintaining constant tension on my abdominals and my chest. I'm keeping my feet out in front to ensure I don't use the lower back as I drive up to the finished position. Second exercise today is the TRX row. This exercise is working the back and biceps. Quick tips today, keep the shoulders stable and push down into the hips. Now notice as I move back, I'm actually trying to wrap my lat around the rib cage while keeping my chest up, my glutes tight, my waist drawn in and my thighs tight as well. Quick tip again, as I roll up, I drive my shoulders down into my hips and then finishing off with a slight retraction of the shoulder blades to finish. Third exercise of the first triplex is the forward step into lateral raise. Quite like this exercise as it's not only working the medial head of the shoulder, which is the outside of the shoulder, but it's a little bit of a power move as you're getting a little bit of hip drive from the hips and the shoulders as well. You're also working on stabilisation from the ankle, the knee and the hip. Breathe in first, big step, drive that arm out and maintain tension on the arm throughout. Okay guys, moving into the second triplex and the first exercise we're doing here today is the resistance band pull through. This exercise is tremendous for improving your explosive power from the hips, especially if you require that power at the lockout of certain lifts. Quick tips here guys, it's the same as the deadlift position, creating a tripod with the foot, screwing the feet into the floor to get tension at the hips and glutes, abs braced, Wrap the handle around your ribs, deep breath in, drive through and tilt your pelvis posteriorly at the end of the movement. Next, moving straight into the machine leg extension, working the quads and flexion at the knee. Quick tips in this one, lock yourself down. This will allow you to further isolate the quadriceps. Keep your hips stable by pushing them together and always make sure that your leg is in line from the hip, the knee and the second toe. Notice that I have a slight forward lean, which is shortening the quadricep as well, which is allowing further isolation at the top. Then we're finishing the triplex with the prowler. Notice how low I'm getting. I'm actually maintaining tension in my glutes and hamstrings throughout my calves, just to keep stability and to ensure most of the emphasis is in my posterior chain, which I'm trying to do. I'm going nice and slow here as well, just to maintain tension and to burn out the thighs. Third and final triplex today, we're going to do some calves and abs. We're starting with the first exercise, which is the squat calf raise or the soleus raise. Notice, guys, that I'm not actually putting my heels onto the floor. This is ensuring that I have a constant stretch at the calves and the soleus, so the gastrocnemius and the soleus muscle. I always find by being in the squat stance as well that I'm actually getting an additional stretch at the front of the thigh. After this, we're moving straight into the TRX calf raise. So this is isolating the gastric knees. And here I have a more narrower stance, toes pointing forward. And I'm trying to get up into the ball of my foot and up into my big toe. The slight bend in the knee, the reason for that is it actually allows me to get a better calf contraction at the top. Lock your shoulder blades back and down, engage your abs and keep the hips nice and stable to further isolate the calf. And the final exercise of the third triplex is the straight arm, straight leg raise. So notice when I'm coming down into this movement, guys, I'm actually tucking my tailbone towards me the whole way down throughout. Again, at the bottom of the range, I'm actually squeezing my glutes, which is their primary function is to extend the hip. This should stop the lower back action at the bottom, also keeping the rib cage down throughout as well. Breathing in, coming down tilting the pelvis, driving the legs back and exhaling at the top. 